like he he will own the stage and then he will that's right how, if, if how you proceed on his property if you're on the ledge versus this man uh, you're gonna have a bad time <laughs> bad time so they finally started here comes our combos from Meru that is 37 percent and he's not done yet this is what I was talking about man as soon as you're off stage versus Meru you're gonna eat a whole lot of damage <laughs> he took him for a round trip yeah he was like okay I'm gonna give you a little bit of back back from my stage and then I'm gonna throw you back I'm off the stage. I'm gonna show you how nice it is up here. And then I'm gonna take it away from you. So yeah, Skipper yeah, has Royals. been playing most of the match in the corner, but he finally breaks free. That was a rather questionable read though. Yeah, then again, if it had worked, it would have killed because it is crazy strong at the tipper. Mm -hmm. But in that situation, it's unnecessarily putting you in the high risk. That's more, that's more Skipper's thing to, to believe with a character like Captain Falcon. Yeah, yeah, maybe uh, he did it because he was at low percent. Oh! <laughs> Damn, no side B for you there. Raptor boost, no. I like it because... Uh, but did you see that? It was high risk, that but... That cancel. Yeah, yeah, this, this is, this is Miru, baby. It's all about that tech. Or at least that's about what that it looks like to about it. About that tech. <laughs> 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 can someone make a parody of that sometime? Well, you can. You're the video editor guy. I'm video editor, but it doesn't mean I have a great singing voice. You don't need to. You don't need to. Maybe it'll add to the to the cringe quality. <laughs> I, I, got, I, got, I got some good ideas for <laughs> All I want to do is see you go O2. Okay, me floating up there. That is, that is classic Peach Shield pressure. Oh, I don't know what's No, Oh, wait, up smash! Does. I was actually expecting forward smash. Uh, forward smash, I mean forward throw, my, my D. I know you do. I know you do. <laughs> Oh, there's a jab. And this is why I don't like Smashville, man. I mean, it was at 170, but still, you know. <laughs> I don't want to be dying of the side from jab. Yeah, then again, Peach has a very dangerous affair. Like, maybe, maybe of course, Miru dies, of course, sooner on the stage as well. But, yeah, of course, you have a fair. Yeah. And yeah. I, could, I think that could definitely kill at, like, 70% mm -hmm. if he makes proper... Yeah, it, it makes sense to go, you know, it's the best stage for Peach, I don't blame mm -hmm. him at all. Also don't blame Skipper for allowing him to go here, because like uh, like we said before, Captain Falcon is pretty deadly here as well. With moves like that, but he does not connect the sweet spot. This is the second. Oh, I can't see anything, so I'm just going to look at this place. There we go. Some technical difficulties, guys. And the power's off. I think we're dead. Strom is off. I'm not quite sure, it's still online? Yeah, I think we're back online because oh. our power fell off, but not the main control unit. Oh, luckily. Yeah, we, 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 we don't need a counterpick, uh, counterpick 2 electric boogaloo. <laughs> we really don't. I think some people are stomping around on the, what do you oh call yeah. it? Stacker block. Really? Stacker block? Stacker block, baby. Stacker block. It's counterpick. It's counterpick. Teaching y'all some Dutch. What do you expect from a guy called Gijsbeer? Controversial opinions. That's what I expect. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, that was game one. We uh, got bits and pieces of that. Oh yeah. Don't mind me, I didn't have dinner. Well, you can have dinner if you just uh, flip up your microphone. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Mm. Anyway, uh, Skipper Meru. It's uh, gonna be 104 Meru. And, uh, I think Skipper is going to be staying with the Captain Falcon. We've seen numerous characters from him today. We've seen the Mario. We've seen a Fox for some reason. Yeah, he actually went Fox against Pico, I believe. Yeah, did not work out. As I heard, because Pico actually made the upset there. She did. She did. Mm -hmm. So good to her. Good job. But Skipper was down but not out as he made it all the way to losers semis, mm -hmm. which is good on him. But Meru is looking to stop him right here. Okay, okay, that's Peach. <laughs> Look at those combos. The skipper is planning to rack up the damage as well. Like, I'm not quite sure how much damage how much damage does he need to actually make the knee kill mid stage. It's not that much. However, there goes Skipper's first stock and all the rage along with it. <laughs> Miru's jungle game has gotten really, really good, you know. Especially versus characters that uh, are are easy to see where they're going, you know, have little mix-ups <laughs> to do over there. 
true. And normally you'd think there wouldn't be so much of a problem because Peach isn't that fast really, but those load cancels, man. They can really, really trick you up. Oh, actually getting in with the neutral air. Yeah. And the, the float cancels mean that if you drift one way and then try to turn it around, Peach doesn't really have that much of a problem of the the slide, you know, mm -hmm. when characters try to run around in a dash, so she can really track you. And that rainbow hitbox is pretty big, so she's actually a lot better at it than I expected. Oh my god! Yeah, that was pretty <laughs> that's, that's, that's special for you. This is why I love player games, man. <laughs> Skipper's so expressive. Scratching his head. Meanwhile, no... Not any kind of expression on Miru's face. No, no. But that's 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 Miru. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> he's in his dark realm in his head. Like this is just this fog of darkness <laughs> going on in there. I don't want to know what's inside, but it's definitely not good. So, uh, yeah, I expected the character switch. There's the Roy. He's been playing a lot with Roy ever since he took a break. True. He actually he actually may um, back when he made his comeback. He actually beat Asriel with Roy. Yes, yes he did. So this isn't quite as strange as you might think. However, much like Captain Falcon, Roy is absolute combo food for a character like Peach. So let's see if he can keep up. I rem I, if I recall correctly, like, Miru lost once to Saru, his Roy. So really? Yeah, that it, uh, well that's, I think like, not a year ago, but like eight months. Something like eight months ago. Oh, there's the Mr. Saturn. He's getting uh, absolutely no. hammered by Skipper. What a cruel, <laughs> cruel man. Skipper not having any of that. Yeah, that dad. Oh. <laughs> that dad too fair. Is, it's so potent as an edge guard. Too. Skipper being real smart, going high to avoid the toad. And now low to avoid the high float. Skipper being very conscientious. <laughs> conscious. <laughs> conscious about his options. Yeah. <laughs> He actually, he actually used counter. He actually used counter. He called out that option from Miru. Well, that, that's the beauty the about having such an underwhelming, uh, unremarkable counter, you know. Like, there, there are options you don't consider if you don't play the character that very often. <laughs> yeah, that's... that's <laughs> <laughs> Your jump got eaten by vegetables. How do you feel about that? Okay. It's a Mexican stand of turnips. And of course, Skipper is the first to lose patience. <laughs> <laughs> that, sounds, that sounds a lot like Skipper usually. It does, but it works out for him more often than not, as we can see on the scoreboard. We got 0% on yeah. Skipper and about 60 on Miru. Uh, the thing is about Skipper, he feels like he is this offensive player that tries to overwhelm you with, with move after move. Yeah. And he usually Skipper. plays characters which have access to moves that actually kill pretty early. Like he has Captain Falcon, yeah. he has Roy, and he has Mario. Yeah, you know, fast characters fast moves, mm -hmm. really strong, and can usually also uh, do a bit of shield pressure. Yeah. Oh, sweet spot back air is not quite going to be enough, but, but it's looking real scary. It seemed like the up air, but it couldn't be. No. <laughs> it couldn't be the up air. No. We know the up air, that's not an up air. Uh, I'm not, uh, I'm not wearing my glasses. I need my glasses here. Yeah, you do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. right, so here comes a difficult part. How will Roy kill now without overcommitting too much? Four tilts. That's true, but he does need to have the sweet spot for that, and Miru is, I believe, aware of that. And those, with those float cancels, he won't be coming there in the range of that sweet spot very soon. Yeah, I suppose you're gonna keep him at the ledge, and then you try to hit your sweet spots as he does a get up. But, however, if up throw is not gonna kill yet, no, 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 but no. I think at 150%, with this amount, with this little bit of rage, it will be enough, because Peach is not that happy. And there it is. Oh, you know, get him at the ledge, throw at your moves. So Miru, of course, is not the only one with pretty potent edge guard options. Apparently not, apparently not. Like, uh, how fast is that Nair anyway? Because it, it's not safe on shield. I, I think remember. it's frame 8. It's, it's kind of safe on shield. It's good yeah. on shield. Yeah. Unless you space it wrong, of course. Like yeah, well if you have some bad spacing, you just land right in front of Pretty, pretty much every move is balanced shield with uh, bad spacing, except for Cloud. Most moves. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm glad, I'm just going to up air right st straight into you and yeah. I'm safe. Or my back air, which is plus four. <laughs> <laughs> Double edge dance, not finding its mark. Mm -hmm. So which one is the blazer and which one is the flare blader? What kind of question is that? You know what it is. I need to know, man, I always forget. To be honest, I, uh, I, made, team I made team with Roy. But I think <laughs> <I'm> Eva. <laughs> 
I think the neutral B is the flare blade. No, the blazer. No, the flare blade. Mm -hmm. uh, the nice thing about a move is it's it has very uh, yeah the ending length of that move is just yeah, very it's almost it feels kind of non-existent. Think about uh, Ganondorf after the smash. It's a bait. Yeah, it's a bait. And if they, if they take the bait, you can actually follow up with a tilt or maybe even forward smash. But yeah, oh. Miro is too much on the move, actually, I believe, to actually get anything out of that. Roy's looking up. Uh, Roy, I mean, I oh. don't see Roy. Aero and forward smash. Not gonna kill, though. And that's pretty sad because when you get that, you want it to kill. That's what you pick Roy for, after all. Ooh. There it is, there it is. He floated with Skipper. Skipper reversed, and you know, float is so fast, and float cancel as well. He could just hop right on back. Mm -hmm. That makes Pete deceptively good at juggling you. Just look at the pressure going for the grab. Yeah, Skipper, for the first time in ever, Skipper is trying to play very patiently. Instead of just going in all the time. However, Miru is having none of that. Yeah, it's not working out. Now he knows that. Now he knows that Skipper is actually trying to play patiently. Miru's just going in. That's actually trying to get hit on the pit. Oh, that that's was a it. forward air. Yeah, that's a forward air, and that's it. It's a uh, three-one to Miru, who advances to loser finals. Two more sets, unless we get a reset.